Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today for the Honey Bee Stamps Holiday Wishes YouTube Hop. You can check out the description box below for all of the information about the hop and your chance to win a $50 gift card from Honey Bee Stamps. I used a lot of the different products from the release to create this really pretty card today, which really has a holiday theme, but also very much a winter theme. So I am going to show you in the tutorial today how I went about making this card and I have linked up to all of the different products that I've used for this project in the description box below as well. So I'm starting off here with a brand new paper pad from Honey Bee called Winter Wonder. This is a 6 by 8.5 inch paper pad. It is absolutely stunning. You can just see all of the really gorgeous papers, the colors, the blues and the taupe. Just a really, really stunning uh, collection of gorgeous winter themed paper. You can definitely use these for all kinds of different elements on your projects. I was really excited today to use one of these papers for a background for my project. I love how these papers are sized at 6.8 6 by 8.5 so that you can in essence cut these papers in half and get two card fronts for two a two a two size cards. So they're also really really great for five by seven card fronts as well. So just beautiful. Now this one on the left how stunning is that it definitely looks like frost. Just gorgeous. I love that paper pad. It's definitely a must have. I'm also going to be using the lovely layers deer die set this has a coordinating card that shows you how to layer these together there's also a code at the bottom that you can use with your phone or your camera to go ahead into the honeybee shop and see uh, inspiration for how you can use those dies now I'm starting off here with my scallop A2 frame die, the largest die from that set, and I'm going to cut out a card front base out of some white cardstock using that scallop frame. This is one of my go-to die sets from Honeybee. I use it all the time, and I also really love the Sweet Stacks dies from Honeybee. This is one of the Sweet Stacks rectangle dies. This is a stacking die set that has lots of different sizes, and what I did was I grabbed Grab the rectangle that's going to fit perfectly into the inside of that scallop A2 card frame that I've already die cut out of the white. So this piece is going to fit inside that white frame allowing the stitching from that frame scallop frame die cut to show and then you can just see here how nice that is when it's all trimmed out. This is just a beautiful backdrop for a project. Really easy to create a background when you have a beautiful paper like this. So now I'm just taking a little piece of white cardstock that is sized to the same width as that patterned paper. And I'm going to take one of my slimline dies from Honeybee. This is from that Horizon Slimline Borders die set. And what I love about this is that the die set allows you to cut really any size of element for any size of card virtually because it is large enough for a slim line but it's also large enough that you can make it really any size you want it to be for a card front. So here I've got it trimmed down to be exactly like I said the same width as that background piece for a little snowbank for my deer to stand on. Now I have die cut out the base for the buck for the from the set so the lovely layers deer gives you a buck and a doe so I've cut the base from one tone of brown cardstock and here you can see the antlers is with another tone of brown and I'm just using different colors of brown for all of these a lot of the different layers so that they'll stand out when I have these pieces cut. Now, as I've said, the guide sheet that you have with the set really helps you. But I just want to point out that on each one of these dies, you have the dies for the dough and the buck. So there's the smaller size usually is for the dough and the larger size is usually for the buck. It's pretty obvious when you go to layer these on to the pieces because Honey Bee has really in a very genius way designed these so that the pieces have etching and embossing on them that really help you figure out where everything needs to go. So with the layering um, card, instructions and those embossed, embossed etchings, it's very easy to cut these out and, and put them together. So I now have my sweet little um, buck all 
put together and glued together. And now I wanted to just take some inks and give a little bit of color detail. So this is some gathered twigs and my very smallest honeybee stamps blending brush. And I'm just, I'd wanted to add just a little bit of color into the chest area of the buck just to make that area sort of look a little bit more um, 3D or add some depth. Then I'll go in with some ground espresso and add this around the outer edge of the deer. And so you'll just see me going in with my blending brush, adding that detail. I do really like to add a little bit of ink to the colored cardstock. I do find that it does really add some depth and dimension to your lovely layers pieces, whether it's a floral or an animal like this, whatever. I'm also using some black soot and the black soot is really going to define the edges of the deer. I think it just makes it look really cool, makes it come to life. So there you can see up close how beautiful that is and how realistic it is. Honestly, I love the, the honeybees, lovely layers uh, creatures. I think they're beautiful. And this is just such a majestic, beautiful animal. Um, just so realistic and, and gorgeous I love it so I'm just going to finish up with a little bit of black soot here just getting into all of kind of those little nooks and crannies and now I can start to assemble my card I'm using my honeybee stamps liquid glue tube here to lay this um, top piece onto or the, the I guess the base of my card front onto my top folding A2 card base so I'll just get this glued down and then right on top of that I'm going to adhere flat to that white cardstock the background piece. I love that this is blue. I just think that it is so pretty. Blue happens to be my favorite color but it also just really gives it that wintry feel. Now I'm taking some tumbled glass distress ink and I'm adding a little bit of that just to the top of the snowbank as a little bit of a reflection of that blue and then I'm ready to add my gorgeous deer. Now this is a brand new sentiment set from honeybee this set is called peace love and joy honestly it is one of the most beautiful sentiment sets I think that honeybee has ever done I'm going to heat emboss with the word joy I've grabbed some black cardstock I've put it into my mini misty and I've treated the black cardstock with my anti-static powder tool I've inked up the stamp with my honeybee clear embossing ink and stamped out the word and then added some white embossing powder, heated that up and melted it. And now I'm just, die, I've die cut that to create this gorgeous sentiment for my project. Now I've also taken the lovely layers, layers large snowflake dies and cut out that one of the smaller snowflakes from some silver mirror cardstock. And I just thought I might like to add these on as an embellishment. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my beautiful buck onto my project over to the left leaving some space on the right for the sentiment and then some of those snowflakes. I'm going to pop the sentiment up with some foam adhesive onto the project just to give it a little bit of bump and dimension there so that it just stands out a little bit more. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that just to the right of my deer and a little bit lower on the project. I've also stamped out and heat embossed the wishing you from that peace, love, joy set. And that's just going to be a complimentary subtitle for the word joy. So the sentiment is going to be wishing you joy for the sentiment for the project. So I'm just going to add that down. And now I'm ready to add a little bit of white splatter. So I've just covered up the face of the deer and the sentiment so that I don't distort any of those areas with the white paint. And I'm just going to go ahead and generously splatter on this white paint just to add that bit of look of falling snow. Once that's dry, now I am ready to go ahead and finish up. I'm going to add the gorgeous winter pearl stickers. I've used the medium sized blue ones at the center of each one of the snowflakes and then the snowflakes have been added on in a visual triangle on the project. Please friends make sure that you get out make sure that you comment and like subscribe and do all of those things to enter the hop today make sure you check out the links to all of the different products that i've used in the video thanks friends and i'll see you soon bye, -bye.